Welcome to Age of Noob everyone, and it's my absolute pleasure to introduce you to Force Nothing in Age of Empires 4. If this is the first time you are seeing this map or game mode, strap in for some classic Age of Empires silliness. Alright, let's first explore the history of this map and what it's all about. Force Nothing first exploded in popularity when AoE2 personality T90 uploaded his hour plus long cast of a 4v4 game. For those of you who don't know, here's a quick summary of how Force Nothing plays out. The premise of the map is very simple. The entire map, and I'm talking every single tile, is filled to the brim with trees. Each player starts with the usual town center and three villagers and begins chopping down the trees. You do not have space to build anything yet, so you initially want to get a house to be pop capped ASAP, then find space to begin farming to create more villagers, to chop more trees, to make space for more houses and farms, to create more villagers, to chop more trees. Well, you get the idea. Obviously, the first person reaching the feudal age and a market will be able to abuse the market and bottom out the prices first. After that important milestone, it's just a race of who can boom quicker than everyone else and get the onagers first to begin cutting towards allies to begin trading and eventually cut towards the enemy to kill them. It's obviously a very silly map that's meant to be played casually and is also noob friendly as you cannot be rushed and your allies could help much easier if the game is balanced. After the initial success and explosion of Forest Nothing, other quote unquote nothing maps have also emerged. So we eventually got Relic Nothing, Gold Nothing, Stone Nothing, Berries Nothing, and so on, you get the idea. This whole saga was beautifully concluded by a masterpiece from Zero Empires called Nothing Nothing, which, well, is a map with nothing in it. I'll link below Zach's video summarizing nothing maps and also to see Nothing Nothing in case you're interested. Okay, now that we've covered the brief history of Nothing Maps in Age of Empires 2, let's explore its initial and most popular iteration, Forest Nothing in Age of Empires 4. First of all, tree mechanics in Age of Empires 2 and 4 are quite different, which actually makes Forest Nothing play differently as well, and, dare I say, more sufferable, especially in the early game for the casual player. First of all, the current iteration of the map starts with a scout. Normally, you shouldn't start with one, but we'll play along for now. I'm not sure if this was intended by design, but there's a very tiny, almost labyrinth-like path between the trees that your scout can move through. Since pathfinding will do its magic, you can simply right-click far away and your scout will figure out a way to get there. Obviously, scouting means nothing in the early game because you already know that the map is literally just trees, and the positions of the enemy are symmetrical and opposite to where you're located. Hence, the modder will likely remove the scout in a future update. But let's move on to the important stuff. In Age of Empires 2, the only tree that you can chop down and destroy with a villager without collecting its full wood resource is the straggler tree. You can chop it down, build any building foundation on top of it, and delete the foundation to destroy it. If there's literally a single additional tree next to the one that you want to destroy, this doesn't work. Hence, Forest Nothing is absolutely painful to play at the start, and for this reason, most players play Forest Nothing at fast speed and sometimes on turbo mode to skip the slugfest of the early game. There's very little you need to do early on, and this requires a lot of patience to get through. In Age of Empires 4, trees work differently. Regardless of the location of the tree, once it's chopped down, it can be destroyed by a building foundation. Furthermore, once a tree is felled, then you don't even have to destroy it to move past it. This means that you can just continue felling trees before destroying them en masse with one foundation, instead of doing it one by one. Hence, these two different tree mechanics make the early game quite micro-intensive, as the player with better micro and planning will be able to make the most space as quickly as possible. So, to start off, you'll most likely make just enough space for a lumber camp, grab yourself forestry to have the number of hits required to fell a tree, and get to work with as many villages as you can. And since houses in Age of Empires 4 provide 10 population space instead of the 5 in Age of Empires 2, this means that houses will take up half the space in Age of Empires 4. When we add all of this up, what is possibly the stalest early game in Age of Empires 2 is actually an exciting micro-war in Age of Empires 4, and it takes much, much less time to get to the mid-game because of this. Now, there is one issue though. Onagers and Siege Onagers in Age of Empires 2 can cut down trees and create paths very quickly once you get there. That mechanic simply doesn't exist in Age of Empires 4, as the only way to clear forests are villagers themselves. That said, there are two ways that we can go about this. The easy one is to create a tuning pack to go along with Forest Nothing, which can have the wood on each tree to double the speed of chopping through the forests. I know this is 100% doable because there's already an official mod called Thick Woods that, well, does the exact opposite and increases the wood per tree. Another way is to obviously make a mod that somehow allows mangonels to fell trees in Age of Empires 4. Though I'm pretty sure this is not doable with the current essence editor that's provided to us. So I think the most realistic way is the aforementioned lower wood per tree approach for now. Whether or not we'll get better modding tools in the future is currently unknown. 
But that's pretty much it. Obviously, you'll need more space to make landmarks, and some economy landmarks, such as the Guild Hall, might be a tad too strong and require a tuning pack to balance a few things if we figure out a completely broken strategy. But I genuinely believe that this polarizing Forest Nothing map is actually much more playable and enjoyable in Age of Empires 4. And I highly recommend you folks to give it a try a few times with friends for some unique gameplay. Well, that's all you need to know about Forest Nothing and Age of Empires 4. I was originally going to upload a video about modding today, but when I saw Forest Nothing, I knew I had to make a quick video about it to shed some light to non-AOE2 players. As mentioned before, there will be back-to-back -back uploads coming your way, as there's a lot of new stuff that I'm yet to cover and explore from the public preview. As always, thanks for watching everyone, don't forget to bottom out market prices first in your Forest Nothing games, and see you all in the next one.